as she enters La Jaula for the third time as a pro with one victory against one defeat. Jillian Valkyrie No! She enters La Jaula for the fifth time as a pro with two victories against two losses. Christina the Predator Pedigro! She's got uh, some friends from the teammates. Valley Float, some teammates here again. These two, they seize the opportunity and Knowles making contact with Pettigrew. Yeah, no, it is a woman that does not waste any time. She likes to strike. Pettigrew, last time we saw her, she took on Montserrat, uh, Montserrat Rendon. Another trip. Mind you, Max. Pettigrew side control. Pettigrew has that victory over Marita Sanchez, who we saw compete here not too long ago. It was actually her first pro victory back in Combate 52 Stockton. That is a, no minor detail, because Maritza Sanchez has looked fantastic. She's a much better fighter today than she was back in December of 2019. But still, Pettigrew's got that victory on her record. And Noah's trying to grab that arm. Maybe have something. Turn she away. may have something. If she holds on real tight, she has to turn around. But Pettigrew knows what's, what's going on here. She's going to turn around to make it difficult for her and continue that pounding to the head. Noah is in, very, in a very dangerous position here. Pettigrew is strong, although now Noah she able to back. get her back. She might be in trouble with a rear naked choke, perhaps, but no, Pettigrew's arm is up. Blocking that, that area back there. from getting and under her see. chin. Pettigrew trying to use that left hand to bring it down to prevent her from... She may have it. Can see from this angle here, but... Still under the, under the underarm there. She Got might. those locked in. And now Pettigrew's trying to get those legs out. And she might have just done enough. Can see it from this shot there. And no has those legs wrapped around Pettigrew. Trying to open her up. Opening round. Noel is, uh, I mean, you've never seen a fighter like her. When she throws punches, it looks like she's smiling. Deceiving, very deceiving. But it's like that she's taking it. This is a great opportunity. She's on the global stage. The lights are on her. Keeping the locks in here on Pettigrew, who's got to be very frustrated. She had the higher ground for a moment. This is almost like Deja Vu, Max, and I invite everyone to watch the fight with Puas Perez and Sebastian Geddes, where this is the same position, and Perez just basically just let Geddes slide down the body. But in this case, you have La Hala right there making it very difficult. Shibuas Perez victorious last week, and now we wait to see when we can see him again. His Pettigrew just his hammer fist. Hammer fist right into the side of the face. There is some, some blood on Pettigrew. And that's a lot of blood. Can't see who it's coming from. I think it's Pettigrew, and it's, yeah, you can see right above that left eye. Be careful Almost the arm bar attempt slips out of it. She's been fishing that since the beginning of time. Maybe coming from the nose of Pettigrew. It's just, just survival here underneath. Arms and legs, any way to get an advantage. Noel's being pretty practical underneath. They're back on the howler. Noel's corner stage to put that elbow to the throat, which is going to force Pettigrew to stand up and leave that arm open. And you can see Noel's not it's trying to get a good grip on that left arm of Pettigrew. To potentially land that arm bar. Pettigrew now has 90 seconds to do some damage. And, and I'm going to have to go on a limb max. I think that that cut came from those elbows from, from who's on the on, on the ground, landing on Pettigrew. It's more trading here. For, she, I think she has a mouse, Max. Let's see if we can see here on the front, on the forehead. Let's see if, yeah, yeah. Look at that mouse, Max. Yeah, it's right. Oh, and we'll have to find out where it happened, but that was early in the fight because once they went to the ground, you, there was blood dripping on No. No, No sees it, and she's ca she's hitting it with the elbows in that area. Oh. And, 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 oh, I, I, oh. It's a game it's of a, punishment and pain. I need to see these things. It's a, we'll get a better look it's at it here in a moment. Man, I just, they're gonna keep, she, I'm sure she's going to keep hitting that, that mouse there. It's about to pop. You can see it. And you get the feeling of what is at stake between these two ladies. Yep, 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 
Pettigrew again, trying to see some shots, but no. Finding any opportunity where Pettigrew makes a mistake, which he could capture an arm and go for a submission. I'm sure in the second round, right from the get-go, no one's going to go for the, the forehead. Marcos Lopez was convinced about maybe picking them up, but there's enough action for it to stay on the ground as we reach the end of the first round. It's going to be a very difficult first round to score, I'll tell you that. I I'm sure Noah's corner told her, hey, attack that mouse with that jab. And look, she's doing it. She's using that jab. Straight to it. Open it up. Jillian No uh, from Spokane, but her ties with Post Falls, Idaho, neighboring Idaho, to Washington State. 4-2 as an amateur. Two wins via TKO. So has had a successful career thus far. Pettigrew counterpunching. That was an elbow. And it caught No. Great stuff. Now Pettigrew following up with her fair share. Both of these ladies continue to empty out a barrage. Let's go, let's go. The women's division here in Combate Max is just, man, it's just intense. We've seen a lot of uh, fights at 105, 115, 125, and here at 135. Pettigrew gets the nod, which uh, has been hard luck for Noel, but Pettigrew did have a lot of ground control. I'm sure Noel's going to go oh, straight jab to Pettigrew and another one. Locks it in with that forearm. Just countering. Oh, and hitting on the mouse. Just get a sweeper, maybe, perhaps. Throw. Pettigrew just making it very difficult for her. Very difficult. See, Pettigrew just comes in with her face. It's almost like she's giving it away. She needs to keep her guard up. A little uppercut by Pettigrew. Hit to the lead leg. Noel is just nonstop. He's always moving forward. Does some damage, getting a lot of acknowledgement from her corner too there's a smile on her face you see when she throws it she, she's she's using that jab she knows what to do she's listening to that corner pablo alfonso is her corner man straight to the forehead to the mouse she even attempted for an elbow oh there's a good punch by Pettigrew up top but but one thing about no when she comes in she, she leaves herself open and Pettigrew. oh now straight oh, left hand on the jaw she lands in that elbow. She's about two, three elbows that she's landed. Now, Pettigrew's shots are not coming in with a lot of fire. You know that? It's, There's a lot of them. It's a lot of them, but... I mean, she hit her on the chin, and Noel walked right through it. Good right hand on the chin. Now oh, they got a little bit more power. Pettigrew connecting a lot. She's been hitting a lot of them elbows. She's been hitting it with that jab, and countering, following up with an elbow. But see how she puts her head down all the time consistently. She has to keep that guard up. And how about the corner of Noel? They are, <laughs> they are illuminating the outside of the howla with uh, a lot of noise, a lot of positive encouragement. And, and I gotta tell you, it's so hard to listen to your corner. And, and, and even if you're in a studio and you have no fans, it's just so difficult. Your mind is in the fight. You might sneak in every now and then, but you're, you're just in the moment. And Pettigrew's got to be a little frustrated because she's making contact, but Noel keeps coming towards her, keeps walking through those punches, and now it goes to the ground. Pettigrew tries a little plan B here. It's frustrating because it keeps closing in that distance. And this is pretty much where that first round ended on the ground. No again. She's going to bank on her ground game. Pettigrew continues to land some shots. The rib area. Christina Pettigrew on top, into the guard of Jillian Noel. Noel, who grew up wrestling with her two older brothers. They would push back the house furniture, put on boxing gloves. She has said she's always been a fighter. And clearly, that's not just lip service. She has been valiant out there. Although might be losing this fight, lost that first round, official scoring. Into the ribs there of no. No needs to keep this on the feet and just work that jab, keep working that jab. As she comes in close, cut the corners. 
and attack the mouse. I mean, it's there for you. It's a great target. Trying again, maybe to find a way out, although Pettigrew's got control now. Really smart move to take it to the ground. Up. It's the best thing for Pedigree to do, which he's been having much success. Forearm to the side. We are going to a third round. Noel's got some work to do. She lost round one officially. I think she lost round two. We'll find out here soon enough. Taking the back of Pettigrew. She does have that wrist control. She could bring her down. She could even try to put in that foot. To to Tripper, working now on that wizard. And La Haula. Get her, and, and that's that's where Noel's corner wants. She wants to, they want this fight in the center of La Haula. It's actually Noel's been having much success. Tina Pettigrew, they got the T Tina T-shirts there. And Pettigrew gets the majority of the cards in round two. One of the judges saw it for Noel. Great stuff from Pettigrew, if you notice, now she's keeping that guard up when she throws in, keeping up those hands. Oh, oh, big kick. Great kick. Now she has that hook. She's a tripper. But Lahala's going to help help her away from not being uh, that another, another big kick. kick. It's, 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 Noel keeps going forward. Has to have left an impression. Yeah, her shots come in slow but heavy. Training with Alliance MMA in San Diego. Got her boxing down, you can see that on full display. Speaking of Christina Pettigrew, Ooh. good right hand onto the chin again. She can get one of those power punches. She's doing more damage with the kicks than the punches. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at No, because you can tell she's having so much fun every time that she shows her shots. Like she loves smiling. what she yeah. does. She, she's a happy camper. She may have to finish this fight to win it. Tina put her head down, caught in troubles. That would be great defense on the takedown. Oh, yeah. She is strong, Pettigrew. Great stuff from Tina. Chernell's going to break up this. Knees into the stomach. Some knees. Tina should work on some knees. Either one of the women can strike in this knee exchange. In a fight that's had so many strikes, you got to keep on throwing. Tina getting those underhooks. Noel just leaning in to get some leverage in what appears a much bigger fighter in Pettigrew. Well, it's an open road for knees here, especially on the inner thigh. Tina could capitalize on that. She can always trip her and take her to the floor. She was having much success, landing in those hammer fists, shots to the ribs. She could change levels right here. It's a good opportunity for her. Two minutes, 15 to go here. They're going to break him up. Marcos Lopez. Lopez wasn't having much of that. Wanted more of exchanging. It, it, what I've noticed from Noah is that every time the fight gets to the center of La Hala, she smiles. Those head kicks have uh, had some impact. There's no doubt about it. Noah, though, looks unaffected by and large. Tina there. This is going to go the one, two, the jab, and the hook. That's what the, the corner from Tina. Yeah, that hair again. Attempting that single leg takedown, but no, trying to rip or prevent her from taking her down. Yeah, no, no, already pretty much figured out the game here, what she's going to do. Her defense. Some heavy lifting here for Tina Pettigrew. This has been a war. And uh, having an opponent that despite hitting her repeatedly, taking her down on a couple occasions, has been unwavering in contesting this. Another separation. All right, this is a chance for Noel right here. You got one minute left. Another warning, heads up Tina. Yeah. Don't want to dip that head and get caught. And, and it's getting it. She started off in this round with a hands up every time that she'll go in, but it's just a habit. You know, it's something that you need to keep perfecting and bettering. Sometimes, you know, when I, when I train, it's, they put in those noodle sticks. Just kind of remind you, keep your head up. <laughs> or the pads. Good advice. 30 seconds to go, round three. Tina nice Pettigrew up. looks like she has done enough, but she is going to fight till the bell. Winning is hard work. No shortcuts. No the takedown. She's had no success with them here. 
Great takedown defense for Pettigrew. Oh, she doesn't budge. She oh. lowers those hips and at all. Good center of gravity here for Pettigrew. And Noel just maybe running out of steam, or maybe it's not the right word, running out of steam in a, a fight that's had so much activity. Ooh. Hot though, fought to the end of the bell. All in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. The Predator, Christina Pettigrew.